Hey there, everybody. Thanks for joining. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the goal setting tools. The importance of this is that uh, we reverse engineer you know, what we have going on currently. Um, we can think about the things that we want to have going on as well in terms of who, who is our target um, customer, so on and so forth, and put some numbers behind it here. Okay, so I'm going to get my uh, face out of the way here and uh, drag it over here off to the side. Hopefully it is out of the way. So here we go. So what we're doing here, so initially let's just ignore the bottom part of the screen and just focus on this piece right here. So first off, what we could do is we could enter in um, your current transaction value. Right now what I did is I put in 500,000 for that. So let's say though that you had 300,000, okay? And then let's say that the, the typical, in your particular area, the typical uh, commission split is 2.7%. You know, sometimes it's gonna be 3.3, sometimes it'd be 2.5. What we wanna do in here is over, say a yearly average, put in what your typical average is. So 2.7 is typically what I've been seeing. The your area is a little bit different, feel free to change it. And then right here, what we can do is we can talk about your brokerage split. I have 95% in right now, but again, we can change this. If, if you're on an 80-20 split, what we do is we put in the 80%. Then what ends up happening is that in this green box, so all of the green here on the screen auto calculates, okay? So right now what we can see is that the, that the GCI for this particular transaction, is, let's say you had one of these a month, you'd get paid um, $6,480 per month, okay, gross, right? It's not including taxes or anything like that. So then what we do in this next little section here, say how many of those are we doing in a year? Okay, so transactions per year, you can enter this in, and right now I have 12, I'll just redo the 12, and then what this does is out of calculate how many that is per month, and then your yearly gross commission and your monthly gross commission. Okay, so what we want to do is get an, a snapshot of where we are today, okay? So then once we've done that, what we like to do is we say, okay, all right, it looks like I need to move my melon a little bit more here. So um, I don't know where to put it, but I'll try to put it right here for right now, okay? So what we want to do now is map out some goals, okay? So this can become a little bit fun. So let's say you want to make, what I like to do is um, when I'm working with people, what I like to do is I like to talk about different goals and maybe some are crazy and maybe 500,000 isn't crazy for you. Um, but on the low end, $50,000, I'm hoping that your aspirations are much higher than that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in $50,000 increments. But again, everything in black, you're able to change out. So if you wanted to do 75,000, and then change this to whatever you want to change it to, okay? Oops, not, not 750, 75. But if you want to change another one of these to 750, we could do that, okay? So anyway, the point is here is that what ends up happening is when we set our yearly income goal, we get what we need from a monthly standpoint, okay? So let's say for a second here that your goal was, in fact, the $500,000 a year goal, okay? So what that means is that um, you need to have a, a monthly GCI of $41,000 a month, all right? So then what we can do is we can say, okay, if we've determined now that we're gonna repeat doing what we are doing, meaning that we have a $300,000 transaction, okay, a 2.7% split and an 80-20 split with our brokerage, what does that look like? So each one of these columns, if you will, continues down. So let's say that you wanted to do the 500,000 and you're at the 300. So one way we could have some fun with this is to do 500 and then play with a few of them. So on this one, we're at 300. This one, we're at say 350. This one, we're at 500, and this one we're at 550, meaning that throughout a year, this is going to be the average transaction value, 
So however many you have in a year, this is going to be the average transaction value throughout the year. Okay. And then again here, this is the average commission split. So I'm going to keep it at 2.7 for now, but you could move it up. Maybe you gain a bunch of listings and you're able to leverage yourself at 3.3%. I've seen a lot of people do that. So that means that you can as well. So we could enter in 3.3 right here. Okay. See what happens. This number jumps. Okay. Now let's say that um, you change you, you get bold and you go to a, uh, your broker and you say, all right, I want to do a 95.5. Okay, so on this particular one, we have a 95% commission split. Okay, but we keep the rest of them at the 80.20. All right, so basically the scenario breaks down like this. So with all three, all four of these, excuse me, we have the same financial yearly goal. So you can see the monthly goal is the same. But when we do a few variables here in the black, what we end up finding out is that our monthly goal changes, or excuse me, our average GCI changes. So now what we're able to do is say, okay, whatever this number is, our yearly goal is divided by the transaction value that we have on an average basis. What we can do is say, this is how many transactions I need on a yearly and a monthly basis. Okay. So again, this is our goal setting tool. We can wrap our head around a few things. So really quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, over here, I'm going to do 150. For four of them. Okay. And then I'm going to have this one be a 90-10. This one's a 95. This one I'm going to keep at a 90-10. I'm going to move it to a 3%. Okay. So what we have now is our financial goal for the year is, excuse me, whoops, <laughs> 150,000, right? And then we have the average transaction value, which we currently have up here in our example. We're going to keep that the same, okay? And then what we did is just keep the typical commission being the same, except for on this one, but we have some variable brokerage splits, okay? So we can play around with this a little bit. And then what, what ends up happening when I work with people, when, we, when we're working with people and talking about this stuff, is they, they've really never done the math on how big of a deal it is to potentially have these conversations with their broker or potentially when they go on a listing appointment to make sure that they communicate how important it is to um, talk about this commission split and get the highest that they can that's reasonable to still get the amount of transactions that they need, right? So just this is basically just an exercise of doing the math, seeing where you're at, having it click for your personality and what you have going on. All right, so now we come down here below, and again, all of these are to make $150,000 a year with an average transaction value of $300,000. Commission splits are a little bit variable here, and so are the brokerage splits, okay? So these are the different GCIs per transaction, now down below here, what we have is the yearly number of transactions, assuming that we hit this on average through the year. Okay, so for this particular one, we'd need 23 transactions in a year, which is 1.9 per month. This one's 21, this one's 19, this one's 19. So again, what we find is that when we do this simple math, and again, this is gross, not including taxes and so on and so forth, is that is that we, we have the ability to have some aha moments about maybe maybe you're making let's see what were we at seventy seven thousand dollars a year right now and one hundred fifty just sounds crazy and daunting okay so what ends up happening is that when we break this down in a simple factor so look at this one actually let's change this to two point seven as well just for a conversation all right. So this is a matter of two transactions in a year because we have, an, a, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go like this, a 95% and an 80%, okay? So the difference here was a conversation with your broker, maybe switching, and I'm not saying that you should do that if the place that you're at is a great fit for you. More of the idea is look at the mathematical difference. So it goes from 23 transactions in a year to 19 transactions in a year, okay? That's a big difference, all right? That's four transactions a year, which is one less per quarter, and so on and so forth. And at the end of the day, we end up getting this same goal amount, all right? So again, I'm not a proponent of 
going around and um, switching brokerages, but it's more about just a mathematical aha moment as to what's going on. The same thing could happen if we just simply change our uh, transaction value, target a different audience. Okay, we change all these to 400,000. Then see what happens. All right, look at that. This is a major, major difference, all right? So now we take um, the two scenarios, this one, and this one compare them to each other again. So it's a two transaction a year difference, 17 to 15. It's the, uh, the potential or conversation with a broker. But at the end of the day, it's this mathematical aha moment of it's almost $2,000 per transaction. It looks like it's about $2,600 um, per transaction difference, but it's two over a year. All right. So what that comes down to is something we're going to talk about a little bit later, which is how many leads do we need to get per month based on conversion rates that we know about ourselves and or national averages so that we can meet our goal. So again, thank you for joining. What we've done here is we've, um, we've set our goals. We've talked about them a little bit. Um, when we work with, with our individual customers on a one-on-one -on -one basis, what we do is we go through this and then we actually nail one of these down. This exercise allows us to do a little brainstorming, a little poking around and playing around with some of these different scenarios so that when we do decide on one, let's say it's $150,000 or 250 for that matter, and we change this to 500,000 because we know that there's a white space, meaning that there's an opportunity to serve a neighborhood or a city in your particular area where the average transaction value is 500,000. And we're gonna fill that void. And then we're gonna to go to our broker and we're gonna change it to a 90-20 split. Now we need 21 transactions in a year to make $250,000 a year if we hit these numbers, okay? So the idea is that we're gonna work closely with you, understand your personality, who the people is that you like to work with, plug them into here, nail down a goal and work backwards from there so we can try to have some fun, work with people that we enjoy and uh, increase our dollar per hour. So thanks again for joining the video. Hope you had an awesome day today and I'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye-bye.